Hey everybody, welcome back to Train Battles. Happy Saturday, and hope you guys are doing well. And if you guys are excited about the Super Bowl tomorrow, let me know and let me know who you're uh, who you're rooting for. If you just want a good game, so I just I'm just excited to be, watch these two teams play because I like them both. I'm one of the few non-Patriots fans that actually I'm okay with the Patriots, and that's as a Broncos fan. So, but yeah. Um, anyways, if you guys hope you guys enjoy the Super Bowl tomorrow and have a good time and let me know who you are rooting for. So, all right, so we got, this should be the last episode with this team. I'm very, I'm well aware of some issues with it now, uh, and I chose not to make the changes just to play out with the team. I'm also, I'll do a team report on the team, and I will make sure, and when I do the team report, I will also be sure to, uh, words. Oh, I'll be sure to kind of talk about, like, the issue mainly with opposing Incineroar, and why that's a problem, and I'll kind of throw out some ideas of Pokemon you can try out. So, yeah. Anyways, let's uh, let's hop right in. We had uh, two long games yesterday. One against Mono Go, so don't miss that. <laughs> and then, then we had a really good, a really long game. It was a really good game. There was a lot of good plays on both ends, and ultimately in the end, I I went all out on a play, and I mean, it just didn't pan out the way I was hoping. But we do see. Okay, we have another Xerneas Lunala, and we see the Ditto. Ditto's cool, because it's a lot of times you run red card, and then you switch into a boosted Xerneas. Yeah, you hit, the Ditto gets hit, red cards the Xerneas out, and then you have your own Xerneas with the boosts, all those boosts. So it's kind of it's kind of a neat trick. And then we see Smurgle Xerneas, um, Finny, Cinderor, and Lunala. So I want to leave Lunala Coco. That's my best way of dealing a Xerneas lead with either Lunala or Incineroar. Like, I'm just gonna go with these main, my top four here. See, so yeah, this is gonna be a matchup where Incineroar is a pain. It, it's this, yeah, it's this combination of Xerneas, Incineroar, Lunala that this team needs help with. So I need a Pokemon that can handle those three real, like, fine, and, uh, and can hit. And we have to be careful this ditto if they bring it. Alright, let's lock in. And my game plan, if they leave Lunala and Incineroar, which is, like, the best lead against me, I have to switch my Lunala out and, into Incineroar, and then I ten, generally will try and go for, like, a Volt Switch to get, um, one of my other Pokemon back in. Maybe Xerneas. Is there any reason I have to take a knockoff? But I'd assume Poco's are just gonna get faked out in that situation. Yeah, and there's the lead. So this is this is another this leads a problem for my team because of Incineroar. Um, because I'd love to just sky drop, but we have this problem here. So Lunala's switching to Incineroar is super obvious. They might call it in U-turn. Which is a big reason why I'd, I would like to Volt Switch. I also, yeah, I'll Volt Switch, I will go for the Volt Switch, because I can get out and get damage on this Incineroar, because right now, damage on the Incineroar is like, is what's really important. I'm gonna save Lunala. But my guess is you fake out Coco and yeah, maybe a Tailwind here. Nope, so they are just launching the Z-move, so this hopefully is going out into... Man, people really love risking the speed tie. That's really interesting. So, and is gonna eat this up. And then I wanna, I'm gonna need to try and Volt Switch for better positioning. I might even do like Volt Switch, I might just like a Volt Switch in turn. I can also Snarl. Snarl might be a good play. Snarl Volt Switch. I'm trying to think, what would come in? Xerneas, maybe. I think I should probably U-turn. I could Electro Web. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's go for Electroweb. Break this Shadow Shield. And Coco can. I mean, you would. I would assume you want to side shot Coco. Now they go for Tailwind. Fair enough. Good thing I. I'm glad I went for Electroweb then. Uh, but my issue went first. So I'm probably gonna wanna go out into Xerneas. Because I don't want a potential U turn going into Lunala and breaking the Shadow Shield. This should be a U turn. I'd expect. Yeah. It isn't. Okay, yeah, that's the Pokemon I'd rather take it. Now I have to wonder what they go into. They could go into their own Xerneas. Yeah. And they can get their Geomancy up pretty safely. Switch Geo. I can go for my own Geomancy. Let's see what they want to do. Because if I it would be cool is I can get my boost up. And I can get my uh, my Lunala in to roar out. And if I get my boost up, a Moonblast should take out this Lunala. And we've seen Tailwind, so that leads me to believe it doesn't have um, Roar or Psych Up. Well mainly Psych Up. That's the one I don't want to see. I would, that would be nuts if it had that. Okay, so let's probably be into Xerneas. This is gonna hurt, but we get the Geo up. <sighs> the crappy thing... The really crappy thing is that a Moonblast would take out my Xerneas. You probably just moonblast my Xerneas, right? Maybe I should just sky drop Lunala. No, probably not. I could try and protect Talon, but they might, I mean, they might expect Xerneas to protect here, and we go for a Tailwind. I think that's what I'm going to bank on. And they like double up in all with a Moonblast Moongeist, expecting me to protect Tailwind. Actually switches. Oh man, good play, stupid ditto. Ugh, I knew that was going to be, I knew that would be a thing. I might just lose my Xerneas. Yeah, and they do just Moonblast. Probably into Lunala. Or my. Yeah, I lost. <laughs> oh, the stupid Ditto. I'll roar that out. Oh man, that stupid ditto. He did bring it. I guess it's not surprising. I should have protect Roared. Last turn of Tailwind. This ditto's got a bunch of boosts. Oh uh, man, that was. Uh, yeah, dang it. Stupid ditto. If I had Protect Roar, I would have been in such a good spot. I mean, he would have had to co he still would have copied me. I'm gonna try and roar it out. Yeah, he might Protect. 
Nah, he doesn't protect. Bummer. Takes out my Incineroar. Yeah, this is this isn't going very well. And once again, dude, Lunala, Incineroar, Xerneas, those three are just that's the problem trio for this team, I think the biggest one. That's gonna hurt a lot. Like I have to roar stuff out. It's, uh... I'm gonna forfeit. I don't I can't win this. Yeah, I can't win this. A lot, yeah, yeah, because that was that was that dumb ditto. I just felt a little better, but because I don't. Yeah, because I need I need a Pokemon I can lead against this kind of team that isn't just uh, Lunala Coco. So I'm gonna go ahead and concede this just so I can save more, some time for hopefully one or two more games. Well, for sure one, but maybe we can get another quick game. Yeah, so the, the the shortcomings of this team is clearly showing now, and because Amoongus, I can't, it's hard to bring Amoongus and Kartana because Lunala and Cineroar are so good against those two. And like, I can lead Coco Lunala, but that Lunala and Cineroar lead is, I don't have a lead for that. And if I lead anything else, and if they lead, if they do lead like Xerneas plus Smeargle or plus uh, Incineroar, it's a problem. So yeah, it's kind of a cool concept to add with this team, but it the it's either I just have to give up on the the Assault Vest Coco idea and go back to like the Max Speed Lunala, and then so I can use like Toxicroak maybe, or I just really need to find a good last two Pokemon. Um, like Crobat would be nice because. Crobat at least can't get faked. Yeah, Crobat can't get faked out. Yeah, here we go again. These three. Because Crobat can't get faked out. Do they leave Lunala Incineroar? What do I have? What can I do against that? I could leave Lunala Amoongus. But then, no, because Amoongus is too threatened. Yeah, like I was saying, Crobat could be good because it deals with that. Its matchups are limited, but I really, I really just need, feel like I need a niche mon, anyways. And then I might just change, could change Cortana. I was thinking Stack could be good on this team. I think his Crobat doesn't like the Lunala though. But just having another Tailwinder could be really useful, especially against these types of teams. Uh. Yeah, can lead Incineroar to Xerneas. I want to try this, changing this up. I'm going to lead Incineroar to Xerneas with Lunala Coco in the back. Because I want to be able to... Because that would be a better lead against Lunala and Incineroar. Because they would be forced... I could just like protect Snarl. The problem there is if they fake out Tailwind. That... Now they go Xerneas through Lucario. Dang, now I should have let- Ah, see, this is the thing. I needed to lead- If I let it, I just pick up the Lucario and I knock out the- The Xerneas. You might just double- You might double protect here. I really honestly think you could double protect here. Or they could- They, they could double protect. And I, I makes- I'm really tempted to double switch. Because I could easily just fake out the Xerneas. And boost. Can you go, Luc or you might just attack Lucario because it can't get faked out. That's what I would think you do. I bet you protect Xerneas and attack Lucario because you don't want me to fake out. That Xerneas, because Lucario can't get baked out due to inner focus. 
But I'm gonna double switch here. Make a, I'm just gonna make a big turn one read. That the Xerneas protects. Cause then I can get around to follow me. Oh, he goes for quick. He goes for quick guard. I didn't even know that got quick guard. Well, I still have to make the same. I have to pick up and roar. I gotta get, take out this, uh... Yeah, so I'm gonna have to pick up and roar. Wish I'd led this, man. Ugh. One time I didn't. I'd pay for it. Just like I have to take a bunch of damage first. I need Coco. I need this. Make sure that this. Hope this Xerneas is timid. Yeah, there's the follow me. Just go for Dazzling Gleam. Okay, good. I can take those. I should have let it. I should have just stuck with it and led this. Alright, so. That's nice. So now we can switch, in, we'll switch Lunal out into Incineroar. I'm trying to position myself for fake out. Yeah, I'm in such a good spot because I would have just picked it up and roared. So I gotta save Lunala here. Um. You might just knock out Coco, but I'd be fine. I've already switched that out. That's fair. Alright, so I'll intimidate there in Cinderora. Actually, it'd be kind of it would be kind of cool if they knocked out. So they knocked out my Coco. Bring Lunala back in. I go for Tailwind. Yeah, I'd probably go for Tailwind because you might you actually might just choose to knock out Coco here. That probably breaks a Sash. Most likely, a, most likely Sash. Wait, did he go for a Follow Me? for the bullet punch. I think I should live that. Oh, that did nothing. Sweet, and I'm gonna U-turn off. Do I wanna go into... I'm gonna go back on to Xerneas. I'm gonna go into Xerneas. I'm afraid he's... He probably U-turns himself. I'm afraid of is that he knocks off Incineroar. I, I, what I want you to do is Flare Blitz, Coco. Alright, but the cool thing is that Incineroar is in Moonblast range, so even if I don't boost that Incineroar... It's actually in, Z, in range of the Z-move as well. So what do you go out into? Manala. So you're gonna wanna Z-move. So I could... Sky drop, I could. Which I kinda like the sky drop. Sky drop Geo. Or I could intimidate the Sucario again. Put it at minus three in Geo. Timmy, I'll be faster than this Lunala. I hope Lucario doesn't get a roar. That would suck. It might. It actually switches it. it doesn't do his own Incineroar. That probably has a roar. But, ideally I can fake it out. I don't know if it's the faster fake out though. And maybe Geomancy is the play. If you Tailwind here, that'd be... Oh crap, could have I don't know what has Psycho for Tailwind. It might have Psycho. That could screw me over. Big time. 
If I had Psych Up, I, wish, I really wish I had a knockoff right now. Don't Psych Up. Okay, Psych Shocks. Good play. Good play. Should we do a lesson? Yeah. But if he has Roar, I'm faking him out. So I'll probably have the berry. Yeah, that's the that was the one crappy thing about that. But I don't want to risk a roar, possibly coming out. Nope, I just out faked him out. I guess for Psy shock. Live. If we get rid of Lunala. So let's worry about his Xerneas. I think I really want to knock out. I think I just want to protect and knock out his Incineroar. I don't think he has Roar. I'm just gonna protect Snarl. I'm pretty confident he doesn't have Roar. I think because we did see U-turn. Good protect. A Moonblast will take it out. We see I am faster. Does he U-turn? Yeah. Yeah, because you're going to go out into Lucario. Oh, yeah, because you can Bullet Punch. So that was a good protect. I might preserve this Xerneas. Actually, let's see, I really want to snarl. Skydrop, pick up the get up a tailwind. Alright, here's what we'll do. We're actually gonna U-turn. As nice as a snarl would be. I'm just gonna go for Dazzling Gleam. I think we'll be fine. Oh, you withdrew it. Back into Incineroar. Ah, uh, dang. Should have you turned off the Incineroar slot or the Lunala slot? Yeah, good bullet punch. I forgot about Lucario in the back. This is why I do like having more fake out users, because then I could protect you turned out into something to redirect the bullet punch. Yeah, that's what's great about Smeargle and Amoongus, or just having more fake out. I mean, not against Lucario, but... That's one thing I've found with this team a lot, especially playing on Showdown, is I can, whenever I do set up Xerneas, I don't have the resources to keep it set up, because there's just so many answers. I probably, I probably shouldn't be setting up as often as I am. I wonder if he even goes for fake out. I'm just gonna go for this Incineroar. If you fake out Coco, I'll knock out Incineroar. I'll save my Z move for that Xerneas. Coco can take a bullet punch though. I should have went to. I should have went. No, I can't go back. In, I should have went to Lunala, then back into Incineroar, and then switch to Incineroar into Coco. Because a bullet punch might just take out Coco. That's what's worrying me. A fake out bullet punch. A tailwind, dude. Because in case that, that covers in case I lose Coco here to this bullet punch. 
They don't, so that's nice. Butcher web. Tailwind. Now, you probably, I think you could, you'd probably want a bullet punch, but you also could follow me. I think I just sky drop no matter what. And Moongeist into this Lunala. Cause then either way, Lunala's going down. So we get that off. I don't know what this card I was going for. So we get rid of Lunala, that's nice. And then Center was so weakened that it's not as much of a problem. And this Lucario like Lucario can't really touch Lunala. So it's like he, as long as I keep Lunala safe. I don't remember if there's any took any damage. Because if it didn't, that could be that could be trouble. Yeah, and there's Xerneas. No, because Zemo's not gonna take it out. So I think I'm gonna switch out Lunala. I need to keep Lunala healthy. So just because Lucario can't really do much to it. So yeah, I'll drop Lucario. They probably knock out Coco. I'll have fake out pressure on the Xerneas. They might just protect it, so I might just try and take out Lucario. At which point I might be able to Z-move this. I'm running out of tail in turns too. Maybe I should have just went for it now. But they could, they could double, they could also just be doubling Lunala, because like they know Lunala, like Lunala's Pokemon you gotta get rid of right now. Yeah, I'm just gonna blast into it. Ah, okay. That lowers defenses, which is nice. So I still can't, remember, I can't fake out Lucario. So what worries me is they protect the Xerneas and they switch out into... Curve's like minus one a lot of stuff. This should be my last turn of Tailwind. They might just protect the Xerneas and switch out into... Oh, I can't... I can't stop the follow me here. Actually, I think you just follow me. switches. So I'll get rid of Incineroar. And then maybe a Protect from Xerneas. Now I come down to the wire. Yeah. Okay, so we get rid of Incineroar. Ugh. I don't know about Lucario's Bullet Punch, what's gonna do to Lunala. This Lucario is giving me a pain. Just, and that follow me is what worries me. Because I need the Z-move to put on this get the Zemo off onto Xerneas. Xerneas is probably going to be faster than both my Pokemon. Ah, shoot. So you follow me, quick guard, close combat, bullet punch. So the only thing you can hit Lunala with is with bullet punch. I think I need to go for the Z-move into Xerneas right now. Now's my chance. In fact, I just double. The Xerneas. Uh, you're gonna close combat the Incineroar. <sighs> the Zemo's not gonna take it out. <sighs> if I had a little chip on that Xerneas from earlier. Oh, okay, this might. This might work out. If I can live this Moonblast... Come on, Lunala. Okay. Get that Tailwind off. Perfect, perfect. But I hit, I hit the 
hit the Xerneas, that's fine, because that puts in the range for the Z move. And now I Flare Blitz to Lucario. I should be faster than Lucario. Now I Z move Xerneas. 100%. That should hopefully be enough chip. Hopefully. And I Flare Blitz Lucario, knock it out, proc my berry. And if I don't knock it out, I can put it in Flare Blitz range. Oh, Bullet Punch! No! I forgot! Dang it. Yeah, good game. The Bullet Punch got me. I forgot about Bullet Punch. I should have just doubled the Xerneas, I would have won. Dang. So I'm not gonna take these moon blasts. Ah, I should have hit the Lucario last turn, that was the mistake. Tailwind hit the Lucario. Mmm. I'm not thinking through clearly enough. Man. I'm sad. Maybe I can crit a Flare Blitz. Yeah, I goofed again. I gotta stop goofing on these plays. I mean, yeah, you want to stall at one turn and tail in. But, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Unless I crit Flare Blitz. I think I have to crit Flare Blitz to win. I should've hit the... I forgot about Bullet Punch. Man. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, that was... I have a really bad issue of... a really pro big problem of forgetting things like that. Like, I forget little things like that. Like, if I had just talked out the Lucario, we would've won. So I Tailwind... Or if I double... if I either double Xerneas, or I knock out Lucario. But he could've close combat with Incineroar, so if I Tailwind and knock out Lucario, I would've won that game. I don't know why I did that. Shoot. Oh well. Well, we don't end on a good note with the team, but what I really liked is these last few games really, really showed the issue it has with... Because the last few teams we played, Xerneas, Lunala, um... Xerneas, Lunala, and Cineroar. And then that third Pokemon becomes a... whatever that is. We've seen Ditto, Lucario, and... Stakataka? Those things become big problems because I don't have the resources enough resources to handle the other three really well with what I bring. So, yeah, it's... So, like, it, it, losses suck, and they're all g winnable games, but you can see, like, I had, there's a lot, not a lot of room for error, and that's what I... And especially in that last game, I, I made an error and I lost. So, but I think it, what's good about those losses is it's... And that's, that's what's important about team building, is, and you just gotta play games and you find that out. So now I know what's the big, big problem with this team is like those three together is a problem. Um, so, and just thinking about like, and that's when like thinking about what pairs I'm bringing, what, you know, what four out of the six and how the Pokemon are pairing up. So, but yeah, that'll be it for this team. I'll do a team report and I'll talk about that a little more in depth and I'll throw out some of my suggestions of what to try out. Um, and yeah, but ultimately the, the Salt Vest Coco with the Soul Bulky Lunala may not be the best choice with Xerneas. Uh, so I wanted to try it out and we got to see. And yeah. All right, guys. Well, take it easy. Uh, get ready for Kyogre Palkia tomorrow or Monday's episode and have a great Saturday. And yeah, leave a like, subscribe. That's it. Bye, guys.